My favorite scripture is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Psalms 23. Jeremiah 29, 11. John 3, 16. Romans 8, 28. Deuteronomy 8, 18. Acts 10, 38. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we ask or think of, according to the power that worketh in us. My revelation there is this. Once the power of God is at work in you, whatever you ask, whatever you desire, even the ones who don't ask, the power of God is able to produce results beyond your action, beyond your imagination. So one thing you have to do is to always live in the power of God. And the power of God will activate testimonies, activate miracles, activate signs and wonders beyond widest imaginations. You are the light of the world. The city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. The revelation there is that as a Christian or as a believer, God wants us to understand that we are the light of the world. And that shows that wherever we are, we don't bargain with the devil. We take charge, we take control. And that's the mandate that God has given to man. As the light of the world, we are here to tell the world how the world should be. Because light gives illumination, light gives direction. And light, wherever it is, it overcomes darkness. And the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. You know, um, one of the days when I was reading that place, uh, the Lord opened my eyes to a different realm. You know, it takes a, a, a sheep to follow a shepherd, and it takes a shepherd to take the sheep to the right pasture where it will feed. So uh, it, it makes me to know and have the understanding that following God, you will lack nothing. When we make God our shepherd, he will lead us to the right pasture that is more greener than we even expect in life. And that will make you to grow to any level you desire in life. For I know the thought I think towards you, the thought of peace and not of evil, that will grant you an expected end. And each time I look at that particular scripture in the Bible, it gives me an encouragement. Like maybe when I'm having a doubt, I have a doubt or I have a challenges. I just remember that scripture and then I feel relaxed because God is saying a lot of things there that he has a thought for me ahead. I may not be seeing that thought now, but definitely that thought, his good plans will definitely manifest in, his, in my life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I love that scripture. It lives in the inside of me because every day I believed that his loving kindness is what has been keeping me. If not for the love of God that he sent his only begotten son, I am a lost soul. I was lost, I was forgotten by the world, even when everybody else has given up on me, but his love never forgot me. It found me, it brought me out, and it changed me and made me who I am today. And we know all things work together for our good, for them that love God and those that are called according to his purpose. With the revelation of the scripture, I, I don't have to be frustrated at everything that comes my way. I know that everything is working together for my good. And since I've meditated on this scripture, God has shown his, himself marvelously well in my life. I can attest to that 100%. Remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to make wealth, that he might establish the covenant that you swore to thy, to thy father Abraham. And I call Abraham my father. Um, I had traveled and I was on holiday and during my quiet time, I heard this word beyond measure. God has called us to be blessed and that the blessings are not just in um, minute quantities, but in measure according to the spirit. So the covenant in Abraham makes us know that we are blessed above and beyond what we can ever think or even imagine according to the power that working in us. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing those that were oppressed for, of the devil for God was with him. I love this scripture because until one is full of power, until one is anointed, you cannot go anywhere. 
God has to go with you. You have to go with the presence of God. Without the presence of God, you are going nowhere. So because the presence of God was with Jesus, that is why he finished his ministry on earth. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. No condemnation. So no matter whatever the enemy may bring your way, provided you are walking after the spirit, not after the flesh, no more condemnation. Everything you did in the past, God forgives you. What you do at the present is what matters to God. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place